Good afternoon, uh, attendants. Uh, I'm Kazuo Hirata of Tohoku <coughs> Electric Power. I will explain damage of uh, Onagawa uh, nuclear power station and thermal power stations by uh, March 11 tsunami and present situation. Uh, <coughs> we operate uh, eight thermal power stations and two nuclear power stations. Uh, and uh, four geothermal power stations. Uh, we also finance three companies that operate three thermal power stations. And we operate 209 hydros and two megasolar power stations. Uh, about the ratio among the uh, generated electricity by each type of power supply, the ratio of Summer, uh, summer power has become bigger, up to uh, eight, 87 percent in JFY 2011, uh, by the influence of the March 11 disaster. This is a summary of the <coughs> of the earthquake, as shown in this page. Uh, this is a picture of. Uh, Onagawa town. Uh, maybe uh, some some of you will uh, go there uh, tomorrow. Uh, Eight percent people were killed or missing in this disaster in this town. Big disaster. Then I explain uh, summer power stations damage situation and so on. This map shows our summer power stations uh, conditions uh, after the earthquake and the tsunami. Blue, blue mark shows the power stations stopped by the uh, earthquake and the tsunami. Uh, Noshiro, Hachinohe, uh, and Akita power stations stopped because of unstable system frequency. Uh, Haramachi power station didn't stop due to the earthquake, but it stopped because of the tsunami. Uh, this list uh, shows the tra uh, transition of uh, power stations, condition, uh, power stations, conditions uh, from just before the earthquake to present time. Uh, when the earthquake happened, 20 thermal, 20 thermal power units were under operation. After the uh, earthquake and the tsunami, uh, 12 units uh, stopped. Only Haramachi power station has been under restoration uh, because it had especially serious damage by the tsunami. This table shows restoration, restoration conditions and schedules of the power stations. Haramachi power station has been under restoration. We will be able to restart Haramachi power station before summer in the next year. Uh, other units have already restarted. Uh, these pictures show uh, Haramachi power stations just after the disaster and under restoration. Uh, uh, <coughs> the tsunami level at Haramachi power station was about 18 meters. Uh, just after the disaster, uh, the building walls were destroyed uh, and uh, deb debris were scattered in the site. Uh, debris has been removed uh, and the equipment is, uh, are under restoration. Uh, this picture shows uh, coal unloading, unloading equipment. Uh, all the four coal unloaders were completely destroyed. Uh, destroyed unloaders have been removed and new unloaders are under construction in factory. 
This picture show uh, this picture show Sendai Power Station. The tsunami level was about eight meters. Uh, Sendai Power Station finished the restoration work and restarted for commercial operation in February this year. The, I would, the, I would, this is this is a outdoor switching station, and this is the uh, thermal power technology training center. Uh, it was about to open uh, the. The, um, in April um, last year, but uh, it was flooded and destroyed. And uh, <coughs> they, they restored the building and it opened, re, uh, it opened uh, April this year. <coughs> Shin Sendai Power Station is located near Sendai Power Station. Uh, the tsunami level was almost the same as Sendai Power Station. Sendai Power Station, uh, 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 Shin Sendai Power Station finished restoration and restarted for commercial operation in uh, December uh, 2011. Then I explain the damage situation of the, the Onagawa nuclear power station. Next. <coughs> this page shows plant summary. Uh, visit visitor center is here. Uh, unit one is located, located at uh, land side uh, in the site. Unit two is uh, here and unit Three is here. Uh, this is a this is the gymnasium. Uh, after the March 11 disaster, we accepted neighboring uh, inhabitants up to 364 people as uh, refugees after the tsunami during around three months. Uh, this is. This is a former office building. A uh, new office building was under construction when the earthquake occurred. Uh, <coughs> maintenance center is here. Uh, net generation reactor type uh, is as shown in this table. About uh, external power sources, uh, there are five lines connected to Onagawa NPS, four lines out of five lost the, the power. However, one line of Matsushima line was still in service. Uh, just after the earthquake, all eight emergency diesel, diesels normally started. Uh, but afterward, uh, in Unit 2, uh, the, the emergency diesel B and the emergency diesel HPS uh, tripped uh, due to the loss of cooling water uh, caused by tsunami. Uh, however, the emergency diesel A was in service after <coughs> normally started. Uh, that is to say, uh, Onagawa NPS had not lost uh, electricity supply, both internally and externally. This figure shows uh, tsunami summary. I will explain in detail afterward. Uh, the most significant effect by the tsunami was observed at here in uh, Unit 2. Uh, the basement third floor flooded by the seawater in the reactor uh, auxiliary building. This figure shows uh, <coughs> uh, observed record uh, of, uh, the, of the tsunami at Onagawa NPS. Uh, the maximum uh, 
water level was about uh, 13 meters. Uh, tide gauge uh, located in this point. Uh, we carried out uh, investigation into tsunami trace. Uh, the level of tsunami trace were surveyed with GPS. Uh, this, uh, this uh, maybe you, it's hard to see uh, here, uh, the d dry grass. Uh, this is tsunami trace. Uh, <coughs> this blue line uh, shows the line of tsunami traces that we found. So we found that uh, going up height at the front of the site is approximately of, uh, 13.8 meters, but tsunami had not arrived at the important facilities over the site. About this tsunami, uh, we carried out a reproduction analysis. Uh, on the basis of the uh, four, 40 piece model by uh, Fuji Satake, uh, we developed a wave source model which can um, reproduce the tsunami better at the Onagawa site. <coughs> and we tuned the uh, quantity of sliding of each small fold each small fold uh, so as to reproduce the tsunami around Onagawa site better. As a result of our reproduction analysis, uh, <coughs> uh, water level by the reproduction analysis occurs with uh, water level observed with the tide gauge uh, um, well. <coughs> and it occurs with the tsunami trace around the site by the investigation well too. Uh, these, these indexes uh, <coughs> uh, show how our analysis corresponds to, uh, to the real traces of the tsunami. It could say that reproducibility is almost good. I will show you a movie of the tsunami simulation. Uh, many arrow, arrows will be shown in this movie. Uh, these arrows uh, stand for flow speed. Uh, this, this length is five meters per second. <coughs> We found that the speed of water level rising was about 0 0.9 meter per second. Flow speed near the site ground was about one meter per second or less. Uh, but in the s area between two, uh, two breakwaters uh, here, uh, flow speed was comparatively high. Due to this flow speed situation, we estimated that uh, that uh, sand of the sea bottom was uh, eroded and uh, sedimented. Before the earthquake, we had carried out a survey of sea depths, uh, and after the tsunami, we did again. Uh, in this in this figure. Uh, red area uh, <coughs> stands for sedimentation, and, and the blue area stands for erosion. Uh, sedimentation of the sand was 0 0.5 meter to 0 0.6 meter. Erosion was up to around 5.5 uh, 5 .5 meter uh, here. Uh, as you say in the movie, as you saw, as you saw in the movie, uh, High velocity area of flow corresponds to uh, much eroded area. Important point of this page is that seawater intakes here uh, were, uh, had not been uh, blocked up by the sand. Uh, facility damage is uh, summarized in this list. 
uh, it's no it's not enough time uh, there's no enough time I skip this uh, uh, some of them uh, I will <coughs> uh, explain late in detail uh, this photo shows heavy oil storage uh, tank for unit one oil storage tank for unit one that was destroyed by the tsunami uh, this oil heavy oil was used for auxiliary boiler in unit one which generates steam for uh, generates steam for heating and liquid radioactive waste treatment system not emergency system the other is the, the other damage is uh, listed here <coughs> this photo uh, uh, this figure shows how seawater went into reactor auxiliary building uh, tsunami did not come to main buildings over the ground. However, in Unit 2, through, through openings for water level transmitter, seawater came into the pit, and uh, seawater went into the building via the duct for pipes and cab cables. This, this route. <coughs> Uh, this is, this uh, photo shows the floor of Unit 2 that was in, in inundated. And the opening for seawater, uh, seawater level transmitter, uh, we, uh, we placed the <coughs> uh, plate and the measuring mass, uh, devices are planned to be relocated to elsewhere. In this slide, the primary factors uh, ensured uh, Onagawa NPS safety under the situation of the so-called millennial disaster of earthquakes and tsunami. The most significant uh, factor is the tsunami measures uh, especially uh, same s safe site level against uh, the tsunami. Uh, one more important f uh, factor is uh, electricity supply. Uh, we, had, uh, we heard that the Sanriku coastal area of Tohoku district had been often attacked by tsunami and earthquake. Uh, taking such histories into account, uh, there are three points in addition. Uh, this, uh, we we uh, <coughs> uh, carried out uh, seismic resistant improvement work and we continuously uh, doing uh, drills. And, <coughs> and uh, uh, finally, uh, running the lesson from Niigata Chuetsuoki uh, earthquake, we reinforced the service buildings where the emergency liaison, liaison office was located and attached support for the necessary equipment against earthquake shaking. Uh, this is this <coughs> decision process of site level is summarized in this slide. But uh, our seniors established an internal committee, including university professors in late 1960s. Uh, they uh, made uh, argument about uh, tsunami records, and they said that uh, wave height of the tsunami by which seismic center is in a southern area, uh, like Jogan Tsunami and uh, Keicho Tsunami, uh, might have exceeded uh, Meiji or Showa Tsunami. Based on the real result of from the committee, uh, our seniors decided to make the site height 14.8 meters. Uh, this is the photo of embankment protection. Uh, this grid-shaped grid 
uh, structure is the slow uh, protection structure. Uh, we estimated tsunami as uh, 9.1 meters uh, at the uh, <coughs> construction permit on unit two. Uh, we we <coughs> uh, built we built uh, co concrete protection like this. <coughs> sea water pumps uh, are installed in pit. This picture is the sea water uh, pump or pit of unit two as a good effect of. Uh, putting pumps in these structures, seawater pumps need smaller power and they are protected with concrete walls. <coughs> this, oh, oh, thanks. To ensure uh, further safety, we have been carrying out various measures as shown in this figure. Uh, uh, then, because there is not enough time, I, uh, I omit uh, explanation about the details. Uh, this is the uh, photo of uh, tidal embankment. Uh, it uh, completed construction April this year. Uh, this is uh, this uh, slide of uh, <coughs> uh, to to prevent uh, okay, uh, hydrogen explosion, and I I will omit the details. <coughs> Until now, I have experienced the measures on the facility side, but on the other hand, uh, training of utilizing those facilities approximate, uh, appropriately to uh, ensure the safety is also important. Uh, this is the uh, slide <coughs> explaining uh, drills. I will skip it. Uh, <coughs> one of what we are now studying is utilization of the data of the uh, GPS wave gauge in future. Uh, even right now, we can confirm the information on the homepage of NAUFAS uh, when a tsunami warning or alert is announced. In future, uh, if we could utilize real-time data, some good effect, for example, uh, acceleration of fast action might be expected. Uh, as a conclusion, uh, by March 11th earthquake and tsunami, our summer uh, power stations suffered serious damage but could reopen operation by pre-mediated pre pre uh, restoration works sequentially. Uh, <coughs> at the Onaga NPS, we could secure safety amid three uh, March 11th earthquake and tsunami and various actions for further safety are uh, underway. To achieve nuclear safety, it is important to push forward both hardware measures and software measures. At the same time, we are giving all our energy for stable electricity supply. Thank you for your attention.